Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm an ASHA certified speech language pathologist, and I'm going to teach you how to get an ER from nothing. So we have a client, they have no R, and we want to start them off in a place where they can get an ER sound. Now remember, the three most important things about the tongue for the R are that it's back in the mouth, it is a tight, tense tongue, and it's rooted and anchored on the inside upper back molars. So I will give you the tip that I used with my son. I started him with the L. So I took, you know, you take your tongue, you put it behind your teeth on the alveolar ridge, and then I had him walk his tongue back like this. And then I'm kind of, I'm shaping the tongue shape to be a retroflexed R while vocalizing. So we'll do it again. And you can hear, we're getting kind of an R quality now with our tongue placement. Now you might be asking, are there other ways to produce R? Yes, this is an attempt to encourage the retroflex production of R. And that means that the tongue comes back and curls. Um, there's also another way to encourage the tongue, which where you have it kind of go back like this. Both ways are totally how many of us produce R. Uh, now, why I'm encouraging this is that it's more tactile. Um, the bunched R can be a little more intimidating for some of our clients because they don't know exactly where their, their our, uh, tongue is. What I did with my son was that I had him go Rrr, over and over again. And that's encouraging the, the back of the mouth, that, that point of um, retroflexing of the tongue, that you're encouraging the mouth to know that this is produced in the back of the mouth. Um, it's also encouraging tension. It's giving a little tactile feedback and it's so uh, such a powerful way to shape R. So that's how you get to R, and then from that point on, you start to drill. Um, er, 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 as many times as you can, and then you can start to add phonemes, uh, other phonemes besides er, like her, um, and you're working to get more of the er in words, um, and then, I'll talk in the next video of what to do when you do have an ER and where to go with therapy at that point.